My name is John Zidi. I'm the artistic director of Breaking Convention and we are doing our first teacher training course called The Pioneers and we have the ultimate, the epitome of the b-boy coming down for our first one by the name of Prince Ken Swift. I get a lot of different things out of sharing, you know, uh, my history of dance and what I know with dancing to other people. Um, some of it is just, you know, just the, the, the personal, you know, way that I, I like the attention. I like attention. I think initially when I was a little kid, I think that had a lot to do with what did build my self-esteem over the years. You wouldn't see me talking like this back in 1981. I was very shy and I was to myself, but the dancing allowed me to an empowerment and allowed me to have a voice later. You know, uh, I stuck to doing this and being that I sacrificed and committed this many years, it's, it's, it's actually rewarding for me personally to pass it down. I've seen him on, in films, I, you know, I've seen him on different b-boy tapes and for him to come here and teach and give us knowledge, you can't ask for more. To be, have this opportunity to learn the foundations have them taught from the horse's mouth to be able to then pass them on, it's, it's essential. Not only does he represent the culture and its origins, but also he represents it as an art form. He seems to be one of the few people that are putting philosophy and ideas and how does this relate to the bigger world, how does this relate to the other four elements of hip hop, because they're all connected as far as I see, they're all exactly the same, there's just a different output. There are a lot of different things that I want the students to get from, from these teachings that I'm doing here, this work that I'm sharing with them. Uh, let's start from, you know, first of all, having an understanding of where this dance has been and what it's been through. This is very important for uh, a young student or a young teacher, a uh, future teacher, to understand what conditions were in this particular areas of New York City, uh, the socioeconomic reasons why these things probably spawned and contributed to hip-hop just becoming hip-hop because unless a person can really understand what something has been through and, and, and where it's come from, they, they, they won't have an idea of possibilities where it can go. I started breaking in Birmingham in the Midlands and um, you know it was very much uh, you know relying on ourselves and learning bits and pieces from various sources but I always felt like I was missing on like, the realness of things. This is what we need, somebody like Ken Swift coming over and showing us and you know, I don't care about getting up early and get, travelling on a train and coming here because you know, I'm learning something that is so like valuable to what I do, my art and our culture over here because I think breaking in the UK has kind of, it's got a bit kind of messed up and I think it needs, it needs that unity and to work with other people that do what I do um, around the country, I think it's just, you know, it's going to be so good. You gather so much information that sometimes you, f you know, you lose it a little bit because you never really heard it from one person that's been there. It's very important to teach foundation, uh, or I like to use the word share foundation because I'm still actually a student in what I do, to make sure that we don't lose sight of what this dance is, really is. Not only knowing what the earliest moves were, from the 1970s, but knowing a lot more about the consciousness of the dancer and the attitude of the dancer and how to let the music give you the ability to apply personal style and character to the moves. That's foundation. When working with young people, for me education is important because I work with primary school kids, nursery kids, and I work with teenagers and young adults as well. I mean, no, it's good to communicate that to them because I work with a lot of young people that do lots of street dance. And street, it's all good, and they're all great, but what happens is there's no flavor, there's no connection with the music. When they ask about where, how do we get moves, where the moves come from, it all comes from the music. Music is the key. Without music, this wouldn't be possible. And that it's about rhythm, style, and character, and personality. Who are you? Who is this person behind this dance? If I can't feel you and get an idea of who your personality is, you're not doing the dance. You're doing physical movement. Well, for me, it kind of this week has confirmed like a lot of kind of theories and ideas and things I've been chucking around in my head that no one else will listen to me about, and a lot of it is, is 
It seems to relate to what Ken Swift's tell telling us, or it backs it up or it adds another line of inquiry to what's something I had already. So hopefully I can take that back because a lot of the time there's just kind of, I don't have the news to show a lot of these kids. They're all doing air flares and hand hops and head spins. And I've been asked maybe, oh, could you show these kids something? And I'm like, well, the only thing I could really show them is like what's up here. And that's hopefully what I can take away. We do need to continue to document and, uh, and uh, you know, preserve the terminologies, preserve the concepts of what this art form is. But when it comes to actually putting a glossary together of the move, it's ne moves, it's never going to stop. The moves are going to keep coming every year. So I think the essence is, like in the teachings, yes, foundation is old moves, but foundation is philosophy and, and music and, and spirit and rhythm and style character combined with the moves. And that's what makes it uh, breaking.